Hello there everybody, it's your Star Wars Dad Nooch, and today I'm doing, uh, I got, I got free to play Ali on the show, here he is, live from Norway at 1 in the morning. So, uh, sacrificing his sleep to spend some time with the, uh, Star Wars Dad community, so, uh, give us a little hello Ali and tell us what your, uh, Galaxy of Heroes channel is all about. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you for, uh, having me Nooch, it's, uh, it's an honor, and, um, my channel... Well, I play a Galaxy of Heroes, and my only Galaxy of Heroes, and uh, I do uh, free-to-play from level 1 to 85 and even beyond. But it started out by um, myself checking out YouTube, and I could only find endgame stuff. I couldn't find anything that fit uh, my account on uh, level 40, 50, day 10 and 15. And I do a lot of these uh, accounts because uh, what I enjoy the most is the leveling from 1 to 85. So I thought maybe someone could use uh, a tip or two. So why not just record the journey from uh, 1 to 85 and uh, maybe someone would find it useful. And uh, now I'm doing two series. One of them is pretty fresh. That's on uh, day... Uh, 15 and uh, the other one where I'm deep into the ground arena and uh, way over my head but uh, we're having uh, a lot of fun on the channel so uh, if you're a new player then uh, come check it out and see if it uh, is helpful for you that's something you've yes. talked about for a minute is is we have we have very different personalities so the great thing is that you know for my viewers if you go over and, and watch out you'll get a much more uh, measured and mature view of the of Galaxy of Heroes, maybe maybe that can help you. You know, can balance out. Um, you know, my my dancing and and antics along the way for you. So, yeah, Ali's got some great stuff. I've been checking out his content. It's really good. He's got a really nice chill music vibe going on. It's it's really good stuff on his channel. So I definitely recommend uh, getting over there. And I'm gonna keep watching too. Yeah, thank you. Now, now I can show my wife on the video that uh, someone thinks I'm mature. <laughs> well, because because here, here here in the family, I'm the the big man child and uh, the, su the super nerd. So, uh... Well, that's crazy because my wife thinks I'm way mature. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Untrue. So, Ali, I think you, you, we talked and you've got uh, you got five tips for, for new players coming into Galaxy of Heroes. So, uh, why don't you load them up and uh, fire away? Yeah, at least I have, have brought five pointers. Some of them are really broad and uh, some are uh, just small, quick uh, life hacks. But let's start out with uh, number one. And that's when you first start out in uh, Galaxy of Heroes and... Uh, you uh, watch all the fancy YouTubers with their end game content yeah. and uh, on the on one hand... side you find uh, a guide for one thing and on the other side you find a guide for something else and you might find yourself jumping from uh, thing to thing in the game and uh, it can be really hard to focus on uh, yourself. But I like to use the analogy of uh, let's say you just get your driver's license and you get your very first car and that that should be an awesome accomplishment but uh, just because your neighbor is driving a tesla then uh, that shouldn't bring you down so uh, number one is uh, keep focus on uh, you and your own game and uh, enjoy the small victories and the small journeys Everything from uh, reaching level 60 and getting into the fleet arena, uh, doing good in all the small events, finding a guild. So yeah, just just enjoy the journey and uh, take it one step at a time. I think that's really good advice. I mean, because like you said, there's so much endgame content out there that you get lost in the shuffle sometimes. And yeah, level 60 is... You get to do Fleet Arena, but you get rid of that stupid sim ticket grind, too. Oh, I got something for that as well. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> but but that's, that's the last one. But uh, number two, that's um, make yourself some uh, good long-term habits. 
and that reflects back on number one because uh, if you enjoy this game then you'll be in it for the long haul and uh, nobody wins uh, Galaxy of Heroes on day one it takes uh, years and years so uh, what I would do on a new account is to plan out for uh, how I would like my account to look like at level 85 and uh, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, how it looks between uh, level 1 and 85 because uh, at 85 you have the Grand Arena and uh, you need uh, 6 functional squads and uh, with that you can fuel your account with uh, plenty of uh, purple crystals and uh, with those you can keep growing your account. And uh, number 3 would be if you were to focus on something between 1 and 85 then focus on all your characters that are pilots because uh, at level 60 you will uh, unlock the fleet arena and uh, if you are prepared when you get to level 60 you can uh, earn quite a lot of crystals in there the max you can get each day is uh, 400 and it's not as hard as, uh, <laughs> as it looks but uh, you have to be prepared because uh, it's no use getting to level 60 and then find you find out that you want to do the fleet arena. Another point uh, there is uh, you have to focus on your dark side fleet because uh, at level 78 you'll get a challenge for uh, Tata materials and uh, to do that you need the Executrix and uh, to get that you need 5 dark side ships. And uh, th that's also a thing you can uh, miss out on if you're not prepared. I've had plenty of people that reached 78 and uh, they had no idea that uh, they needed five dark side ships. So uh, focus on your fleet if you were to focus on anything. That is perfect advice and it's something that I tend to forget because I just started doing these free to play accounts you know, a year ago but I've, I just had, I'm on my second one now. Mm -hmm. And uh, this Sith Eternal one that I'm doing now is, is just, I'm just going to get Sith Eternal, then I'm going to end the account. I just want to see how quickly I can get them. So I honestly, I have not been focused on that. I probably need to retool a little bit because I'm at level F58 and it's about to hit me in the face. <laughs> That's a really good point. That level 78 when you can when you can get Zetas uh, is really, really important. Yeah, because um, if you find out at level 78 about those dark side ships, you will you'll spend quite a lot of time catching up to, to that one. Yep. And uh, number four, that's uh, a quick one regarding the fleet. As you uh, level up and uh, when you reach level 40, you unlock the Galactic War. And uh, in there, you uh, get some Galactic War tokens. And depending on what tunes you're farming, it can be... Tempting to spend them all and uh, rush your tunes up to seven stars But uh, if you save them if you hoard all of them and wait to level 60 Then uh, in that uh, same shop you'll see uh, some ship shards and uh, if you get to level 60 with uh, 25 30,000 uh, galactic war tokens in your bank then you'll uh, get such a head start on uh, the rest of your uh, fleet shard and uh, you can enjoy a nice income of uh, crystals that's this is good stuff i'm learning things right now this is i mean that's absolutely true but it's you don't even think about it because you're busy getting your uh, your zeb or whatever so you can go get palpatine and you don't say maybe just do it once a day and you don't need to get them to seven stars you know super fast because you got to gear them up anyway right all right, what's mm. number one, man? We're, no, number five, I guess, Ron. What are, I don't know. Yeah, you were mentioning uh, Seb and uh, Phoenix, and uh, they are all good uh, in the beginning as a starter squad. But if you uh, look in the beginning, you have two types of energy. That's uh, Cantina energy and uh, the normal energy. And with some uh, quick math, you will see that the normal energy that costs you 50 crystals and uh, the cantina energy costs you 100 so uh, just, by, 
<clears throat> so already there you have a double price on the Cantina energy. But in addition to that, if you check out what you get with uh, your normal energy, you get 20 sim tickets. And with uh, Cantina energy you get 10 sim tickets. So if you focus only on your normal energy every day in the beginning, you will get 4 times the amount of sim tickets for your crystals. And you'll never have to do a single manual battle, ever. Well, I've already blown up that advice because I went after Ezra as fast as I could get him. And that is a cantina farm, my friend. So I've been, <laughs> I have to hit that battle button. I'm a battle, auto, battle, yeah. auto, battle. I do that a lot. Yeah, and, and one addition to that tip is uh, only do hard mode farms. Yeah. Don't, don't waste your same tickets in, in simming the normal ones, because uh, you'll have to spend uh, twice the number of sim tickets to uh, use the same amount of energy. And you won't get any shards either. So. And, and do the, the normal energy and uh, do only the hard node sims and you'll never have to do a manual battle. Yeah, and I was say, and, and the gear's gonna come, you'll get it in those hard nodes and if you need to ask your guilt, your guilt, they'll give you a lot of that early gear. You'll get that really easily just by asking for it from your guild mates. Yeah, uh, regarding the gear, you can you can look at it like, let's say you have a, a tune at level forty and you really want to gear them up. So you go around the map and and, and on the whole tables and you do a lot of simming and you get the gear and you spend all your energy and. Uh, a few days later, a week later, you continue to, to do your card farms. And I'll bet you that as you do those far farms, you'll get the same gear that you just went out and, uh, and farmed. Well, man, that, these are all really good pieces of advice that I generally don't give in my channels. So this is good for people to hear because I'm just out there bashing away, just trying to get to these uh, Galactic Legends as fast as possible. And uh, it's fun. But it's not necessarily the most efficient long-term way of doing it. Although I'm finding that in Grand Arena, I'm punching way up after I unlocked my Supreme Leader Kylo. Like, um, I'm actually down by one to two and a half million on my current Grand Arena match on my free-to-play account. It's pretty crazy. These accounts are so much bigger than mine. Just because I got one Galactic Legend in there. Yeah, I have one I have to do today, and I'm 1.5 million galactic power, and my opponent is the smallest one in uh, the pod, and he's 3.5 million. I'm in the same boat, man. <laughs> we're, we're too good. It's uh, Ali too good and Nooch too good, baby. Let's just hope it evens out uh, with a couple of seasons. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, 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 you, I think you have to lose now to make it even out. If you keep winning, you just keep moving up, and you keep it'll get you worse and worse and worse. Yeah, but, so. but you have, you, at some point, your your head will crash into a wall. <laughs> yes, that's what's. It is definitely built to have your head crash into a wall at some point. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, Ali, is there anything else you'd like to add about your channel before we uh, before we uh, I give my little sign off here? Yeah, if you if you need any help uh, as you level up or you want any tips, then. Come check it out and um, also jump into uh, my Discord and say hi. I have just teamed up with uh, the Free to Play Nation. So uh, there is a lot of brains uh, to pick in that uh, Discord and uh, a lot of help <clears throat> and a lot of helpful guys. And uh, no question is uh, too stupid in there. Well, that's awesome. What, I, what I'm going to do, everybody, is I'm going to put a link to uh, Ali's channel in my description. And, uh, and I'll also put a link to his Discord down there so you can take a look and join up. And hopefully you get... Uh, well, clearly, if you go to Ali's channel, you're going to get a lot of advice that I am not providing you. So that's a good thing. And, uh, well, this is fun, Ali. And, and everybody, I, I'm over on his channel, too. Where at some point, we're, gonna, we're both going to post some, uh, some videos of each other. So go check that out as well. And uh, thanks for popping in today, Ali. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah, th thanks for having me, Nooch. It was really fun. No problem. And uh, for my for my folks in uh, my audience, uh, of course, always remember, Nooch too good.
Cyrus. Find some on game content. Hang on, Ollie. Hang on. I am mm -hmm. sorry. My desktop audio was not turned on this entire time. Oh, no problem. So I just wasted uh, four minutes. Sorry. No, you gave me a practice run. It's all good. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I had it turned off. You know why? This is on. I, I, did, I was doing a Star Wars watch party with my buddy I grew up with, and I had, so you had, can't have the audio on. I, I apologize.